Tabusia four ebekaya and chepi and a e levy won semi to ja emra a finance minister copium mo parliament ed a koto parliamentarians ne nim se or so mo jisa taxes ne edit tum se de be a gana bit me a kone ni musika se munia de adeno na enye besian bonins and semi brino e and am suma men timi mwasi e course or parliament emma e ye dom kesieno that's the majority e pi koi emma motu a ba ama fi the majority ba back me be dani huns and semi bri a gana fo me brina entis and sem nasi. Na enra e ye papa e ye ufori ata eko piemu e wa parliament de din sem neko guho e de ma o mono. Na dom kuman e babu on tin lita bechere se se e levi ni kwa mwa mu one percent bi no mbeso mu yeno kwa na kwa metia se e de amo ma e gana no. En kwa fo me brina so e che se e levi ni kwa e di ade e di ade poti na sa e levi no e chere a ako fansi nse mwi ni na e di abba e di e poti penti na wasi e jisa ali ya nso e tum e wa gana se ye be ji sa e eh, taxes no ne e di abo okro no ho e bra no ne sa no mane no ma no we enam so e ma obunim di fuo bi atimi akire kirade no mu ye afa ye e levi ne ho nsensem no mu me pese obenya mre na wati e eh, ye nsem wa papa yi e eh, ba be can very important na de atie ni e eh, wo so o musu nya abotre na o moko all over Ghana regions ni nyina na se information center kwa no benya o mutu o mobuchi chi mu chi kasem ani krokro na o mokoso ni kasem ani chire nko fo man ko fo ti ase because se asem papa ibe kan e wo video yi mu e very important a uti nsem a wo kana utim se eto asomu yen konko ti nsem a papa ibe to jamra sisi a the the thing is this it's easy just to go and criticize the budget right but to assess that budget properly you got to ask yourself what are the true constraints that the mini, that this ministry is facing? Right. What are the what are the real what is the real scenario? Right. And unfortunately, because there's all this politics, partisanship, every flow in, sometimes the discussion gets a bit muddied. What I'm just trying to do today is to say, let's break down the scenario. Where are we? Right. And 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 what's really what are the options? Because sometimes you take a, a decision not because maybe it's, a, it's an issue of survival. Sometimes you take a decision and you say, I can get away with this. Right. What is the situation? What is the situation? Well, I can't wait. So I'm, I've, I've given the green line now. Please shoot. Okay. So I'll shoot. Right? Let's put this in context. Right. Listen to your finance minister. He says, we are under no illusions as to the economic challenges facing our country today. How to ease the suffering of Ghanaians, transform the economy to create jobs, and share the expected wealth across all households are what keeps the president awake at night. Right. To broaden the revenue base, keep a grip on expenditure, protect the public purse, and at the same time build with agency the needed infrastructure pay the bills, and stimulate economic activity. In this one statement, the minister was being truthful. No politics. He's just telling you what the issues are. And then, let's, so let's, let's, let's move forward, right? What is the state of our economy today? I can tell you this. First of all, we are broke. We're broke? We are broke. There's, there's no other way of dicing, slicing it, and I'll show you why we are broke. Secondly, listen. We raise too little tax revenue. Right. And it's obvious. Thirdly, we are overborrowed. It's a weight on our anklets. We can't do anything about it. Finally, hmm? we're unable to create jobs. And one consistent argument you've heard this morning is that if you implement this tax, we're going to lose jobs. So listen, I'll just go quickly through this. Hmm? First of all, Ghana is broke. Okay. You see, when we say Ghana is broke, guys, it's not a political statement. It is not a partisan statement. It is the truth. And I'm quoting from the minister's budget. Right statement mm. he says the total revenue and grants we end as a country that's 7.5 billion right our total expenditure that we plan to have 70.32 billion mm. the deficit is 
1.87 billion. What would you call someone who earns a thousand CDs? Uh, yes, and yes, and the next it spends, it earns a thousand CDs a month and spends 1,880 CDs. You're broke. You're in deficit. You're so broke that your situation is, is we, we can't start to talk about it. And you see, that's, that's, so when we say you're broke, it's just the fact, these are, these are just the numbers from the budget. These are not my numbers. These are the minister's numbers. When we say we are broke, look at this. And it's, that's the terrible part. How much money we earn? 37.45 billion. Right. Interest payments. This is this year. This is up to September this year. Interest payments to date. 18.383 billion. Salaries to date. To September. 20.45 billion. When you take interest and salaries, we've already spent all our money. Education, health, roads, add the rest. This is why we say we are broke. And so when you, when you, from, from, when you, before we even start to say, is this good, is this bad, let's realize that as a country, the debts of which we are broke. This is not to say who is responsible and whether, and I won't dare say that this is not an effect right. that started today. We've been crying about this for years. The, but the part that should worry us is that each iteration, mm. it gets worse. Right. Each iteration, it gets worse. Now, some of it is the effect of our misdeeds in the past. But it seems like when you're in a hole, what do you do? You stop digging. Unfortunately, we haven't stopped digging. Because the partisan nature of our politics means that we can't say that things are bad. And the opposition is also hitting us, us at us without a consideration for what is the real scenario. Right. Let's go on. Hmm? So, what do we say? We raise too little tax revenue. And here, here's a, this is a very revealing graph. In blue is Ghana. In brown is the African average. average. Right. We're not talking about Go and talk about the U.S. Go and talk about uh, the Scandinavian countries. No, we just let's compare ourselves to our brothers, right? Consistently, what do you see? Ghana collects less tax than the average. Now, let me scare you. This is 2018, 13.1 percent. Currently, we are heading at 12.1 percent. And you're talking tax to our GDP. Tax. To our GDP, right? How much tax we collect as a percentage of as a GDP. percentage of the wealth of this country in a year, right? And it is bad. We don't collect enough tax. So part of being broke is simply that we are not taxing people enough. And, and part of the issue is that we are just ridiculous on on this issue. This is the graph of everybody. Well, Ghana is the one in green. And since we dropped to 12.1, we are at the very bottom of the scale. I mean, listen, look at some of the countries. Togo, 19.4%. Ghana, where are we? Burkina Faso, 16.8%. Ghana, where are we? Mali is better than us. What do we think we're doing? These are countries that don't consider themselves a middle-income country but are doing better at collecting taxes and using the taxes better than we've ever... So here's our problem. We don't collect enough. And when we collect, we, hmm, we don't use it well. We, you mean we're profligating the way we expect? Thank you. Right. So listen, we are broke. We are overborrowed, right? And this is, this is, this is a hard part. This is our public debt. I don't go too far because if you go too far, 
it kind of confuses the issue. Mm? Look at the numbers. Here we are. Good. Let's look at this. What does this tell us? You see how our public debt is increasing. 2.18, 2.91, and this is in billions of CDs. You see what is happening to the debt to GDP ratio. And here again, I'm using the government's own numbers. Let's not I mean, we could argue on whether these numbers are right, whether they include everything. No. Let's use the numbers that were given to us on Wednesday, when the budget was given. Right. Look at the numbers. Now, you see what's happening. The amount of money that we spend just to pay interest on our debt has been going up steadily, and now we've reached 50%. Is it 50.3%? Yes. What should worry us is not the debt to GDP ratio. To be honest, there are lots of other countries that have higher debt to GDP ratios. It's not really a big deal. If today I go and take a mortgage on a house, that mortgage on that house will be many times my annual salary. That's not the problem. But if the repayments, you give me 15 years, such so that each, each month I'm paying only a small part of my salary, 15 years, I'm cool. Right. But if I take a loan, and you say that loan should be repaid in five years for a house, and it's taking 50% of my salary, then I have a problem. Because how am I going to live on the others? And that's where we sit. And that's what should worry us. Not the debt to GDP ratio. And truly, uh, 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 there's a lot of... It says... Charlie, Ghana, how much of your money that you earn do you spend paying interest? It shows you are broke. It shows also that you can't borrow any more. Now, let's look at something. And this, this is critical because it tells us something. It tells us a very important part of the process. Hmm? I'm comparing us to other countries. Look, debt to GDP, 107% US, but they spend only 11% on debt servicing. debt servicing. Now, Lebanon is important. I want you to look at Lebanon. They spend 49% of their income in debt, right? Guess what happened to Lebanon? Disaster. Are we headed for Lebanon? If we don't pay our debts, let me tell you what will happen. Hmm. The government will crash. They will lay off staff. If the payroll is full now, guess what will happen if we are not able to pay our debts? Right? The currency will crash. And I'm looking at what happened at Lebanon. And standards of living will diminish. Why is this important? It's important to say that we are between a rock and a really hard place. That this is the nightmare we are facing if we don't raise more revenue. Yet, at the same time, the first thing I told you was that we are broke. And that if we don't borrow, we can't even continue to exist. That's how bad it is. That is how bad it is. And yet, we are saying that if we don't raise taxes so that we can, this is the nightmare that can come. So, you see, I can only evaluate this budget against this nightmare. I can't, over, uh, uh, to be honest, I, I hear you, sir, and I, 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 I share your pain. And, and listen, I am in pain too. Come and talk to me about Dalex. 
we, we, we do more, more, more transactions than anybody else. Right. Yesterday, I was in a meeting the whole day. My head was so full, we ended the meeting. I didn't know how I'm going to deal with this an additional 1.75% on my cost. So I identify with his pain. But I ask myself, this is the nightmare. And so, this changes everything. And guess what? Mr. Joe Jackson, you're now talking about debt servicing as a percentage of the revenue that we're, we're collecting. What do we need to know about that as well? Listen, we're spending 50% of our revenue right. to service our debt. That's terrible. Now, what we must be doing is asking ourselves, how do we make sure that ratio drops? That ratio has to drop. It can't, it can't stay the same. So if you think about it, heading into this budget, all that was on the minister's mind, despite the rhetoric, is that, how am I going to raise more revenue? Otherwise, this country is going to grind to a halt. It will grind to a halt because those who lend us money know these numbers. They do the analysis. And if we don't raise more money, they won't even lend us. If they don't lend us, this country will grind to a halt. And if we default, Lebanon is where you should be looking at. So you see that the situation was not funny. Hmm? As for not being able to create jobs, it's the reality we face each and every day. When you see a queue of people lined up to go for a prison's interview or, or, or a police interview, sitting in the sun, running around, that's the reality. In fact, again, me, I'll quote, I'll, you see, let's quote the own minister's words. He says six million people will join the labor force within the next two years. That's Six scary. million. That's scary. That is scary. And he says nine million jobs in Ghana would di require digital skills before 2030. This is his own words. Tuesday, uh, Wednesday. So, guys, let's not be confused. You have to look at that E levy in the light of this reality. And it's easy to listen. I, the e levy has so many problems we haven't started talking about. Right, it. we'll get there. Right? But he has to raise revenue. One of my challenges is that even in this budget, we are still not taxing the wealthy enough. We are still not taxing the rich enough. And so, and that's because the very people we are asking on both sides of the divide to do the work are those who are going to be affected. And let's, let's be clear. In this country, having a tin number has always been part of registering a piece of land or a, a company. Right. But who says to you that how can you register this land with twenty five? According to the Papay Eki Kenya. Now you say he live you know any tax homes and someone the Ghana for any maybe a agenda and they say we say you know it's midi two now it's midi three. But so today in some one or yeah Friday he did have to go to a Ghana for a. But you must be a Ghana no a Ghana akono. I say I'm a Ghana no a Ghana. In some maybe any better way. Now me was some kakram but some can't say I'm president. Any ye MPs. Any paying for a or multi or minus one. Ma disrede kakram pese mre tuwa mwenye mwenye. Mi ya miti yei minye ekonomis. Ana mi ya miti yei minye politician. Ba se mi si dan wa gana kwa na. Na mi chye ki ma huwa dene. Na mi huwa se. E mi niti mi e unko dene hu gidigidi ya. Mi ti mi ton mi bi bi kwa. E de kwa yesa ade kwa. Sa ade kwa ni hiya mi ya. Mi ti mi ton de kwa yesa ade kwa no. Ale na mwuma yen kati ye expenses. E wo hawa abayi no. E ni ti me yoma. E ni efen se. O mu politician parliamentarian se no. Spendings ne mo no, mo mi enti so, se de beya ya hon chire no, e en ko me bini bisa. Bos, mi nimse parliamentarians no, e o moun tuya e e light, water, e no mo me bide o ho o moun tuya. Kwa me stati e tuya, mi e shuwa senke, no si beti mi an boa, se bie mo mo salary na, o mo si ke de be mo mo no, mo pe no, nan kwa mo di bi e tuya sa, e petrol ni sa no manon, kwa mi nimse mo na petrol kwa mo nje, 
or Gia no de key, you know, code number will be no be so de boo a one ten or baby. Any sign of my new man is let you see this. It's a mighty me ama ya carty a coat according to your size, sir. We are sure sink a pressure we now bet one more catch a gunner for no. He bet me a tin your massacre crack. Not V eight a hood work a sea a mooch, you know. And moon pen will be being a moon yet. We are sure a quina and yen in a mooch chica sack a seno. A quina a papa can be chink it to one. This is some better cast like a sea than I'm going for so no. Any can be a one as a mooch yemi dear. Come on, my cast no, I can say a car tie by a cocrano. When you now come a tie by a cubumwa, cast him as a two hundred and seventy five and piece of more parliamenty. What ties near good cast, Nasano, and no credit to me your coin be a crubiso. It is come on, pop coin be a mefaswa catimu coat, according to my size. Now a year press a year between a papa air can be a mucrashame. Now it is me ama as soon being so abba. Now Ghana for once what you are saying, now taxano, almost so our mu year jumo with me coba, be beans a crow mun semino. Almost went to Metria, not a more man at me a conanim. May my jinchini also beat me the one swaging chaba, a video nassi. Me did your conababuatin.